Matthew, what cheese are you going to be using and what are you cooking? Mine is a simple and rustic dish that hails from Alsace. Potatoes, peas, ham and the secret ingredient, a bit of ultra smelly Munster cheese. Oh, taste I of the taste mountain. taste Munster cheese. Oh, do you? Yeah, oh. it's the only thing. They eat it with caraway seeds, don't they? I love Munster cheese. Anyway, so what are you going to put, John? Oh, something much better than that. I've got a lovely piece of um, fillet steak. Yep. And I'm going to um, coat it in some spices. Okay. Juniper berry. Yep. Um, black pepper and yep. a little bit of a um, couple of cloves and a little bit of a uh, coriander seed. Okay. So Just to get a crust on it. Yep. So I seal it first in the pan, into the spices, back into the pan for a little while, and it's virtually raw. Okay. Tom, I love it's raw. Delicious. And obviously this is this is beef a with a very good French version quality. of a carpaccio. But then I put a salad with it and my favourite cheese of all time. Right, well, you've got to get cooking. Now, this has been probably... Raw four. Raw four. OK, this is the French cheese. Interesting. Right, so you're going to get that into the pan, coat it in the spices. Can you ask Pete to ask John why he actually needs the steak at all for this? John? Because after its flavour, it seems to be completely lost in almost everything else. It's not a competition, this, but, but speed is of the essence. Speed is of the essence. You mean it's not a competition? Well, of course it's a competition between you two. No, I know exactly. But he's a, he's a starry, starry chef, and I am but a, a humble... OK. A humble hack. So you're just cutting out. What sort of ham is that there? I think it's a little bit of ham from the region, uh, or it might actually be black forest ham. Maybe it's got a sort of nice, dark, slightly salty texture. That's that's a nice, nice prosciutto there. Helps okay. to season the dish. Actually, here, come on. That looks good enough to eat as it is, doesn't well, it? I'd eat that straight out. I'm a big fan of it. This is, this is the. Did we say it's a mountainous? Here, yeah, well, eat that. Kick the kick part. Well, okay. What's that in that half? That's out now. And you know, I'm just searing the beef all the way around. Okay. Takes about a minute and a half. Colour and flavour from the searing. Oh, got it. And you get a lovely crust on the beef. You don't want it to pour blood all over the place. And this is a properly hung beef, because fillet can often not taste too much, can't it? Yeah, minimum four weeks. Absolutely. That's right. key. Yeah. Hanging the beef is um, um, crucial. And flavour and tenderness. Yeah. So. Okay, so now we're dipping it into the spice mix, which you crushed up earlier. Yeah. Very, very good. I think he's just putting on a good show. Though. Now, so what's going to happen here? This is all together. This is a nice, uh, this is hearty dish. Nice, very hearty dish, full of flavours, and just, you know, oh, actually, when you've got that piece of Munster that's maybe gone slightly past its prime, this Ooh. is a brilliant way of using it up. You've got to get rid of the rind, though. Just a little bit more cheese there. Now, this is on a baking tray, so even by my basic colouring knowledge, I reckon yep. that's going to go towards an oven. It goes straight into okay. the grill. It goes underneath into, the so grill. how long is it going to go to the grill for? Until the cheese has melted. OK. And that